where did it start for you when you were, uh, you are now 24, yeah. I think, 25, 24. So where, where did it start? When was, uh, I started, I mean, I was studying in my fifth standard. At my age, you can say around eight or nine something. So I started in such a way that my father used to gift me some remote control toy cars. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike other kids, I like to play with it. I like to play and try to enjoy and get happiness through it. But one question always haunts me that, uh, that why? Why it is working like this? Mm -hmm. I always keep asking myself why, where, what, where, when. I keep on asking such questions that keeps mm -hmm. uh, scrolling in my mind. So, because I had been taught in my first standard or second standard in my early childhood days that current flows from battery to the motor mm -hmm. through a wire and through a switch. If you activate the switch, the current flows from battery to the motor. But here the re in a remote control car, there is a remote, there is a car, there is no wires, only antennas. How the current is flowing? So that was really curious for me. And in the beginning, I got shocked that how, why this happening? It m might be some ghost might have entered in inside the car because I used to watch some like ghost movies and serials. So I thought some ghost might have entered inside the car. So that's why it is working in that way. Then after two days or three days, I tried to explore that how this ghost exactly looks like. So I thought that, and I know that to hack any small or big electronic gadgets, one small instrument is required and that is a tester. A small screwdriver, I just got somewhere and just untightened the screws, opened the box and so wow. That was a really interesting thing for me, which really attracted me and created a passion towards me, towards technology and gadgets. So I just saw, I just, explored, I just pull out the circuit, I just saw and wow, that that is something which I was expecting. Yeah, so I just, after my expectation is fulfilled, I just, I become glad, I'm satisfied that yes. Then finally I try to place it back, put back the cover of the car, I just tighten the screw and I try to switch on the remote. So yeah, uh, one day I was kept alone in my home and my parents were out for the shopping and, and when I was alone, I was my notorious mind kept exploring, kept wondering that what next to do. I mean, people are not, other kids are notorious in other activity, but I was notorious in hacking gadgets and all. That, that was my passion from my childhood. So I saw now what to hack, want to hack. My father stopped gifting me any kind of such toys, but now what to hack. So one day I just saw one television, one TV, and that was, that really fascinated me, that was, what that would be, because in a small toy car, there was that much electronic circuit. So how big electronic circuit would be in a, that box type TV? And those days, we don't used to have that LCD type TVs, because at least a couple of 10 to 15 years back, I mean, uh, we used to have that uh, box, big box type TV. And like it has a circuit, so many, like that tube and circuit, so many that we used to have those days. So I just fascinated towards that. I just I know that to hack such gadgets, one small instrument is required, and that's tester. I just got it from somewhere, and again I untightened the screw. So when I just opened the box, I was wow. That was really jannat for me. I like. I just exclaimed that wow. This is something jannat. I got like something a treasury. That was a treasury for me. Then just I just like like we. I are collecting all the golds and diamonds, so that was really golds and diamonds for me. So I was just, I mean, scrolling all the circuits, I was just pulling all the circuits and wires and everything, and in between I got a shock. I just checked that the power was off, but why I got a shocked? Then at later I realized, because I don't, did I, during that time I didn't have any electronics knowledge. A fifth standard guy hardly have any knowledge of electronics and components. So I wonder why I got a shock. Then I later I realized that, a cap, that, that was a capacitor which holds and that stores electricity. So practical, I got the theoretical experience, I mean theoretical knowledge. So after wondering, I just got completely lost in that circuit. I was completely excited. I was completely passionate towards this technology and circuits and everything. I was completely involved in that. Then just after a few minutes, I heard a beep sound. I just stopped what I was doing, just peeped through the window. And I saw my parents came. Without wasting a single time, I just packed all the circuits and all, all the wires uh, as fast as possible. 
I just pack back the box, tighten the screw, jump to the bed, holding the book upside down. <sighs> and parents came in. Then my father, something is not common. Something notorious my kid has done. I just see the he's holding the book upside down. Something notorious activity he has done. Let's see what he has done. So my father just forgetting everything, just asked for the dinner. Because that was a, around late night, around 10, around 10 p.m. you can say. So my mom, dinner later on, later onwards. First, the sas was serious because Indians are more into daily soaps and all. Indian women are more into daily soaps and also my mom can skip dinner but can't skip that watching that sas bowl serials, that daily soap serials. So first that. So my mom just relaxed on her bed, power on the plug of the TV, took the remote. By resting, she just pressed the power button. Doops! One corner of my house was on fire. All my neighbors, all my relatives, they're bringing the sand, water. Going. I was like, yes, I did it. I am the scientist. Yes, I did it. I, I just screamed like anything. Yes, I did it. I'm the scientist. Because that time I had a knowledge that a person who does something, by pressing something, it, it booms, it blasts. Then you are a scientist. I know that, that that was the meaning of a scientist when I, I was a kid. So I was screaming like anything. And then all my parents, all my relatives, all the neighbors, they came to me. I thought they are coming to upload me what I have done. But that upload was in such a way that my stomach was completely filled with all the scoldings, all the screamings, whatever they can do. So my dinner was completely done that day. And from that day onwards, I was kept away from all the circuits, all the gadgets, everything. Even matlab, after few days, even if you come to my neighbors, any of the neighboring house and say, even today you can say, if you go to any of my neighbor house and say, Susan is coming to your home and they will first keep aside the gadgets and all. They know that Susan is coming, Susan is going to hack any of the gadget. So, so make this gadget away from him. So that was like childhood when I was in matlab started my passion towards technology and all but my see gradually my passion towards innovation happened by an accident you can say because i never thought that i should make a innovation i was fascinated and i was passionate towards technology gadgets and all but that happened a innovation is a, a accident and thus that happens in a way that when i was in my 10th standard when i was 16 years old i had gone to a hospital um, uh, with my father. I mean, my father generally used to have a high blood pressure and he goes for a weekly checkup. So one day I just accompanied him to the hospital and to a clinic, you can say, not a hospital, a, a, a small hospital, you can say, type of clinic. And my father just entered inside the doctor's cabin and I, I, I waited out, outside. So when after just few minutes, I saw that my eyes just attracted, I mean, just got a attention towards a old age disabled person. Because of the old age, his hands and movements are completely restricted and that paralysis might have happened for that. So I was seeing that he was sitting on a wheelchair and and uh, he was uh, being assisted by a nurse all the time to go here, there. So I was just observing what was happening. And I just found that the person was not able to speak because later I came to know that 70% of the disabled people, they lose their vocal power because of that par paralysis or due to spinal injury or due to spinal inactiveness, this, this, I mean, this type of activities happen. So I saw that he was not able to express what he exactly wants. He was slightly able to raise his hands, but not exactly able to express what exactly the message he not able to express. So when he was slightly raised his hand, uh, nurse thought that he might, might be need required water or something. So just handed over him a glass of water and he just threw it down. I mean, he wants something else. So by seeing that situation, it really hurts me. I just felt, kept my myself in that position. That is someone whose brain was working, everything is working, but due to that body inactiveness or the, the, the restriction of their movements or they're not able to speak, express, how painful that situation is. I just, I just thought that the lives are really worse than death. So that first time I got very emotional and I felt myself that how painfully they're leading their life. If I am at least able to empower their life, even one person, I will feel more privileged and I will be happy and I will be satisfied that yes, at least I have 
empowered one percent. I have, I have brought impact in their life. I have just empowered their life even one percent. I will be more than happy. So I just came back to my home and keep on thinking that what can I do so that they can do everything like normal humans. So I just kept thinking and thinking. Then finally come to a conclusion that to invent to do something, I should f have to figure out what's a common thing between a normal human and a disabled person. I found that brain is common, but only through thinking to operate things is not that user friendly. I have to think as a point of, of the person who is will be using that innovation. So to operate things on brain, multiple things, is very difficult because to what we think we exactly don't act. We we allow our voice or hand like I want to move my hand in this way. Think to move the hand in this way and then I command my hand to do in this way. More are different. So that is the control. So next interesting thing that I, that I found which is common and which is not paralyzed, which is common that is breathing. The rest things becomes uncommon like paralysis in a normal human. Only breathing is the one medium which is common and which is works properly within a normal human and a disabled person. And there is a breathing we can also control, normal breathing, <laughs> impulsive breathing. Then I invented a gadget or a model or a technology you can say, a small gadget which converts breathing impulse to electromagnetic impulse. And it designed in a such a way that this act as a single switch to multiple switch option. Like there will be option panel, the options will keep on scrolling let the wheelchair to make forward, left, right movement or to operate electrical appliances or to text message, the options will keep on scrolling. Which option the person wants to activate, that option will get activated. It will just wait for two seconds, two to three seconds, then again it will change. Which option he wants, that option will activate. Again, that option will deactivate and again the option will keep on scrolling. So I try to make it in a simplified way. Innovation is not something that to make something complicated circuit or something complicated. It's all about how simply, simply we are able to solve that problem, that encountered problem. So simplified solution is always a great innovation, what I feel. So in this way, this innovation of enabler happened that the person, a disabled person, it's a, phys it's a physically assistive device for the disabled person to empower them to do daily activity like humans do, like navigating the wheelchair, like operating all the electrical appliances, texting messages in a specially designed cell phone and so many other activities. And how, um, that was your first invention? Yeah. There it started? Yeah. yeah. What came after? Yeah, see, uh, then, yeah, after this making this innovation, I got my, I got my second president of India award for this innovation and from Dr. Afij Abdul Kalam sir and there are lots of media coverages and all everything happened all at a sudden after making this innovation like it featured in many magazines, news and I was matlab, in that fame and all I was getting that glory appreciations from each and everyone I was like what happened all at a sudden I was leading a normal life and how this happened all at a sudden but in that glory and in general one thing I re realized that this is not for which I have done the innovation and that I realized when I was doing pilot testing on one of the disabled person. When a disabled person was, you, you, I mean, doing the pilot testing of the device, he just, I just, however I, I had instructed to do, I just gave a five minutes training and he just, through breathing, he just navigated the wheelchair forward, then right, then stopped, then, then he changed the option and activated the bulb. And he, I saw the tears was falling from his eyes. It worked. And I realized that that was not tears of sorrow, that was tears of joy. I looking that I started also, my, from my eyes also tears came out and I felt that that's the real success which I am achieving. This is the real success. Finally, the, the innovation is being used by the target person from, which, from whom I have developed that innovation. So if I am able to empower one disabled person life, then my innovation, my purpose of making this innovation is fulfilled. So if I can empower one person life, then I can empower millions of life. Then, yeah, then uh, either it, uh, we can, I mean, 
push this product to the market by our own or in the form of association or collaboration or either we can license to the any medtech company. So later we realize that this is a very complicated innovation, it is a med a medical device. So it is better that we should license this innovation to any medtech company who can properly manufacture it at, a, at that finished product level, they can manufacture in that level so that a digital person can get the maximum benefit out of it. So I thought it is better that we should license to any medtech company and we are in process to do that because we do not want to commercialize this innovation because it is going to empower millions of disabled people life. So it is better who are already established in that in this biotechnology or in types of medical technology industries or in this field those are achieved a great level I thought that it should these people can make it reach the global public and to, to love in that level with that finishing with that uh, mindset with that vision they can just make it reach to, to that global level and as and second because as, as of now we are focusing on, on some other innovation on like women safety wearables and also it is better that not to focus on multiple areas just to focus on one area we, where we can give our best. So I thought there are many, many people who can give their best in this disability area who have already achieved a lot, who have already created a big industries for that. So in this way we are thinking to create a global impact. Mm. That's quite a, quite a thing for a 24 year old. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but I, I thought when I was in 16 years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but after and, and why do you think it is so unique what you are doing? See because I did not, I, I do the innovation where I find I, a exact or that uh, perfect solution for to solve that encountered problems. For everything that th there is a solution but that there is not a simplified solution. Like for disability we have that scrout that streaks or the simplified wheelchairs or the joystick wheelchair and so many innovations are there. But I feel that whether it is exactly sol solving the problem, none of the innovation can solve 100 percent problem. But how with that, uh, but ha, ha, how much surety and how much probability of solving the problem that matters, and how, how much percent of the problems is being solved that matters. If there is an innovation which solves 80 percent of the problem, if I am making innovation which is solving 90 percent of the problem, then that innovation should happen. And when I found, I just keep surfing on internet and all uh, many other ways like I search. I Plus, we do this market survey whether such kind of innovation is there or not, or any particular solution is there or not. If I find that there is no such particular solution or a great solution or a perfect solution for any of the such encounter problem, then I feel that some innovation had to be done either by value adding to the existing innovations or to create a new innovation if it is not there. So that's why. So this female wearables that you are that you are now uh, going to produce, yeah. is it is it like is this the, so the solution for an Indian problem, or uh, and it's for that reason that it works, or it's is it? Yeah, it started for because of looking into the Indian problem, but finally I found that it's not only Indian; it's, it's a global problem. Like if you, if if you say it's a global record that U.S. is in the uh, number one position in case of a uh, number of registered rape attacks every day and every year second comes Brazil and third comes I India. But in the increasing number of rape attacks every day as per the current present scenario then India comes number one because for I do not know what happened since two to three years of like that increasing number of rape attacks is drastically increasing and there is no permanent solution or perfect solution to put a full step uh, I mean to put a full stop on that. The cops, police everyone is working at great level but thing is that somewhere something is missing. Although there are some solutions like taser guns, pepper spray, but that's not is not going is going to decrease the rape attacks because then I would try to understand the psychology of a woman. Why, I mean, people are not using the existing innovations or products which is there in the market, and one thing that is stopping them to use that is a style statement in that. Not that, should, that those are not fashionable. Like if they are using pepper spray, they think that why pepper spray is required. Why, I mean, who is going to rape them? And, and it happens all at a sudden at any situation. So the psychology create the, creates a problem that nothing is that, that confidence or overconfidence will say that, that nothing is going to happen. You just take the example of hel helmet. People hardly wear wears helmet but to save them from getting fine if any police catch them then that is why they are wearing helmets. They think that if you ride a bike not, we will not, not face accident. No, no one thinks for the worst. 
thing which is going to happen. So, they are just have a confidence that nothing is going to happen. And that is why they do not use like paper spray or taser guns or whatever the possible e innovations have been done to reduce the rape attacks. And second, those are not any kind of style statement. I mean that those are not fashionable. And, and third comes that those can that those are not wearable and that is why that can be misused very easily. If the person was using the paper spray, the girl was using the paper spray against the attacker, the attacker can snatch the paper spray and can use it against her and then can attack the girl. Same for the taser gun and any other gadgets. So, first thing we found that it should be wearable, it cannot be snatched. The snatch will be difficult, I, I, I will not say that it can be snatched, but it will be difficult then to snatch something which is which you will hold, which is not wearable. Wearable things are difficult to snatch. Now, we thought that what to be done within it, so that it will be, it will be difficult to snatch as well. Because obviously, if you compare uh, between a man and a woman, we, men's are more f f physically strong and in confidence wise and in many factors. But we have to empower the women or girls by giving some value add in the form of gadget or something. So, we thought that let us include one small micro heater or nano heater, which in a one or two second it should rise the temperature of around 200 degree Celsius, which is quite enough that to burn someone's hand, if someone tries to grab the gadget or grab any part of the hand or somewhere, just the girl can at least make that gadget contact with any parts of the screen and get a severe pain and uh, it will change the mood or mindset of the attacker, it will create a fear and panic in the attacker that he should not further attack. And, and that, that should be used at the last moment. Before that, we have included a panic button. Just by pressing one panic button, one like a siren will get activated, which is around 180 to 200 decibel sound frequency, which is equal to the uh, I mean ambulance or police siren, which can be kept in a lady's purse, and it would create a havoc in the environment, and it would create a fear in the. Uh, it will create a fear impact in that attacker, and at the same time. A call alert will go to the registered numbers like family and relatives numbers and SMS alert will go and there will one call will go to the nearest police station or to the nearest cops. And in this way, this safety features has been designed and but we know that only this using this putting the safety features in a wearable is not going to attract the I mean the target customers or the, to, 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 the tar, 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 to the target woman for whom this I mean gadgets have, um, we are developing. For women, for girls, fashion is a first statement. So, in overall, we designed it as like a smart safety, smart safety fitness watch. Yeah. Yes, and finally, we included the fitness features and all like in the form of a digital watch. A digital watch which includes all the fitness and fashionable fit features and the hidden safety features. So, people will wear as a style statement, uh, like a wearable, like a gadget, like a fitness watch if any kind of attack is happening, though they can use the safety features as well. So, we are pushing this product in that way in the global market. And it is like um, you find you found almost a niche in the, in, in, in the, in the market, uh, you found it, uh, uh, a corner in the market that has not been covered by others. Yes, because see. Has, has it not been covered by others by the way? See, there are fitness watches, there are some best, better and better fitness watches uh, in, in the globe. There are many security features, but all in a one wearable is not available. See, everything is there, but how ever, see the, like when you make food, you have vegetables and all, but the but this you make is innovative. So, how you collect the specific vegetables and all and how, how you make a food, that matters. So, finally, how you use the, the uh, I mean the uh, uh, catalyst and like the salts, people, the spices and all, that matters how wonderful and how innovative you make the food, because every like vegetables and small small things are, ab 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 are available everywhere. So, same in, in, in case of the this gadgets and all. So, if you will I will part and part it to individual features, the features will be available everywhere. But how innovatively you are designed, how like how it will be consume low power, how effectively it work, what will be the sequence and how much it is user friendly, that matters. So, this is the one we will look, uh, we innovate to make it a user friendly solution. How I mean the target customer like the women and girls can properly use this gadget. So, such kind of smooth and style statement 
all in one a fashionable design watch a fashionable de uh, design fitness watch with safety features in all in one in a wearable is I, I, I didn't find anywhere that's why we developed this gadget and where did you get your knowledge from I mean what what, 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 what see it's all about it's a teamwork you can say okay and uh, I am good in channelizing the work I am an innovator I saw a, I found a problem I found and then I uh, try to ideate a proper solution to that I am a ideator you can say I saw that this is a problem this is encountered problems and through this innovation to through this I created ideator through this innovation this problem is going to solve now this is just an idea that a concept that a raw concept a raw idea first we thought that this is going to put a solution to the problem then we did a market survey that whether such uh, kind of things what was the maximum better device which is available to put a store matlab to solve the rape attacks but we found that there are not such great wearables or there are not, not such great gadgets which can actually solve the problem then we thought that we have to finally design something now i cannot do each and everything it's obvious because i have knowledge in innovation and all but and i have the knowledge in technology as well but by doing everything all and alone is very very difficult so i designed a raw prototype but when to make it a product it requires a teamwork so now i channelize the work but one good thing in me that i know i have the knowledge that which work has to be done at which place who are the right people who are the people who can do it effectively where they are have available currently i have that knowledge i have that due to my experience or due to my exposure to the world maybe that talent has came to my came inside me but due to this Solve that. <laughs> Find a solution for the electric yes. cuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're talking so about finding the people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. So mm, yeah. I, I was saying that. So uh, finally, I thought that who are the right people, where they are available, who will be able to do, do, do a particular thing effectively. Like some will be doing a great design. So I found it try to create a team who are the great designers innovative designers who can add taste to a food so i found to create a team to create a talented and like minded team all together around the globe then i keep on channelizing the things who which part who, who can do in a better way then i try to combine everything to form my including my ideas and innovation and whatever i i i can implement if i have done this and everyone done a little bit this this, this make the complete team and combine to make it a one product so that finally it can create impact and that's what 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 you are saying is that you have a lot of ideas a yes. lot of in inventions you make but yes. you take one out and and commercialize it but when you look at the other inventions what 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 kind of ideas started when you were 16 a part of the wheelchair See, and this 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 board that time i realized that to push everything all innovation all at a sudden is very difficult you take up the any of the big shot companies like apple like microsoft you see they have they came to market with the one product when that one product became become a hit success then they came with the other, other products even with that one product they keep on upgrading that one products you see it in today's apple or microsoft or any of facebook twitter ever they have a one product they are focusing to the one product and those who are successful who focus to the one product and they are the one who is creating millions and billions of impact so i, I was pretty clear that uh, if i want to create an impact at the global level i should focus to the one product if that is creating impact then i should go to the other product and what of the innovations i have done so far i am looking that i i would like to go with by third party li licensing any of the company i can license the innovations and they can i whatever the value add i can do that innovation i will do it will be licensed by any of the third party organization or with a collaboration with some organization that we can add some uh, in every unit we can add some value add to that product and they can or they will also add value add to the product and we jointly we can do, uh, do, do the co commercialization like in, in the joint collaboration uh, for the commercialization or by licensing completely to the third party organization in this way 
other innovations can get into the market and that could create impact. If I will think that each and every innovation from my organization or from my company I am going to push is very difficult and that is everything will go to get disturbed. I understand that, but that a lot of people have these ideas. Why is it that you were awarded so many awards? And the way I visualize and imagine a particular problem and I found a effective solution for that. It's all about how effectively the innovation is going to solve the problem and how simplified the innovation is, how innovative the idea is. If you take everything into the consideration, that's why it's being uh, awarded by the President of India or the other awards you can say whatever I've got so far. So, so that, that innovativeness matters. Like how s at that young age, how s simplified I did the innovation. Like I could have done it more in a complicated manner. It's all about a simplified I innovation gets a great success. That's why you were awarded. Yeah, you can say that. And do you agree with that, that you were awarded? Yeah, because I, you know, first thing, I'm, uh, at the beginning I was thinking that there are many more great innovators, there are many more innovations, I mean gadgets, which are far complicated than, than my innovations. But why I, I got awarded? Now obviously, the uh, people who, who gave the award, there would be a lot of talented jury members and all would have sit and thought that whom they should give the award. If they choose me, then obviously they, they would have found something talent in me or my, in my innovations, something greatness they have found in that innovation. Then I then later from them or from somewhere I came to know that yes, it's being awarded because how simply the problem is being solved and that a great if effective and how user friendly the innovation is, and those innovations get awarded and because that, that these are the innovations that can revolutionize the I mean the current scenario, and it's not about always the complicated innovation. It's all about the simplified innovation. Um, can you um, can you tell me explain a bit more of the innovations you you were awarded for? You have the wheelchair, you have the watch, uh, other innovations or inventions you yeah. Well, we have also designed a low cost el electricity system like a high matlab, with a great efficiency, less the lesser input and a great greater efficiency. Like such kind of innovation are there. But what we have value add to that innovation is that only 15 minutes cycling has to be done. The battery can be kept in a cycle carrier. Only 15 minutes cycling, 15 20 minutes, and you can get around 12 to 15 hours electricity. So, that innovativeness we did is a that challenge we have overcome by making that innovation. That's a achievement we, which we did. So, for such kind of innovation, there's a gadget. Now, there are many better gadgets, like at during those days, since five to six years ago, like we did a gadget where we can operate all the computer and laptop applications without using a keyboard and mouse. The complete keyboard and mouse we transport to any to a gadget. Just like we just act everything in the air and that will act, uh, it will get uh, resulted on the computer screen. Like I, I will click here, that will get click. I will like, I can type here, everything I can do. So that five years ago, this innovation was a great re revolutionary uh, innovation, but now there are a lot many innovations came. So in this way, there are a lot of uh, innovations like one driveless kit, like um, because we know that driveless cars are massively awesome, no doubt. But that cost and that design, it's one. If people want some more designs of the car or something, they cannot get a driveless. To get a driveless car, they have to purchase, they have to buy that particular car. And it is difficult that if the vision is to reduce road accidents, if the vision is to re re reduce uh, the traffic jams and all, so each and every vehicle has to be driveless. If not only one or two vehicles get driveless, it's not possible. And everyone cannot afford that driveless car, everyone cannot exchange that in uh, to get a driveless car or, a, or everyone will not sell their own car to get that driveless car. So we have to think for each and every one. So like I thought that a kit can be designed which can be implemented in each and every vehicle, even a low cost vehicle, even someone is using a low cost vehicle, even that can be, the kit can implement it from a low cost vehicle to a vehicle which of that is more than millions and those vehicles will convert it to a driveless. Instead of making a driveless car, why not to make a driveless kit and can be in installed to make it a driveless one. So that is going to revolutionize the mob mobility industries. And, that's and what's your role in that? Yeah, we have desi designed a kit. So we are lo lo looking that we can license to any third party uh, automobile industry so that they can get into the market. We don't want to 
commercialize this innovation. And what makes it what uh, what makes it Indian? What you are doing? That's it's so specific that. Yeah, because see, in India only that more the traffic jams and the number of increasing number of road accidents is more as compared to the other uh, other developed countries. Because here the traffic management and more is gradually getting proper. But at the present scenario, you can see the traffic jams and all is a matter of concern. So to solve that, I feel that this kit if get installed in each and every vehicle. So it's what you see in your daily life in yes. India that yes. you are trying to solve. Something, whatever I am seeing in a, uh, but but finally, but when I am in inventing something, I am looking at a global aspect. How it is globally, it, it is going to create impact. And it obviously it will start from one place. So as a being an Indian, I am looking at how fast I will revolutionize, I will create an impact in India. Then the same thing I can replicate to create impact around the globe. Because everyone is a human human being and I believe that human humanity matters. And in what way is meditation helping you to find solution? Yeah, obviously, because I am able to think that beyond my imagination, beyond in up to that level that what kind of innovation is going to solve the problem. It's not a normal mind, it won't work. So that calmness, that extra, that power is required to think different, to think that unique. So I feel that because of that, I am able to think beyond my imagination or beyond that capacity. Which maybe it depends from people to people, but I feel that that helps me, that drives me to innovate something really. And what's happening when you are meditating? Can you explain me what's, what's going on in your head then? I see, I am able to visualize the next five, I will, I will be able to visualize my vision. Like my vision, I like our vision is to impact or to empower 50 million users worldwide in the next five years. So I am able to visualize that, that what, how we are going, if we are going in right direction or wrong, what we should do next. I am able to see that in the form of a dream or in the form of a video, whatever you say. When I am closing my eyes, I am able to see that, that yes, whatever we have achieved so now, we are going in this direction or there is some problem in this, we should shift to this direction or we should do this to create more impact. So I am able to scan that five years vision, whatever we have done now, where we are standing, what we have to do more to stand at this position. So how this can multiply to that impact we are creating from millions to billions. So how it, it, it can, I just, we are able to visualize that and we are strictly focused to our vision and we are sure that if we will achieve that vision in the next five years, if we are e even achieving that, if, if we will able to at least uh, 50% of our vision if we will achieve uh, in, the, in the next five years, at least then it will multiply to billions in next five or next 10 to 15 years, it will multiply to billions or, or, or I mean automatically through through mouth publicity or through the noise which will be created, it will, uh, it will automatically get multiplied. So we don't need to then focus to impact billions. If we can impact millions, then automatically it will multiply to billions. But when you say visualize, but what, what happens in your head? Can you, can you explain me the different steps yeah, in these three hours of meditation? Actually, actually, in a spirituality, we have chakras. Like, I don't know how far you people like, clear. Like, we have all the seven chakras, like Sasra chakra, Agya chakra, like we can say crown, bro in English, yeah. And then, then, then there is a chakras of throat, this is chakra heart. So, these chakras are energized, you can say all these chakras when you meditate some, there is some external energy in the u universe. So when you meditate, when you use like, I actually, I do the advanced version of meditation which is mantra healing, Reiki and mantra healing I do generally. So in that, I just transfer the cosmic energy to my body. And in that process, obviously that energy comes, enters through here to till this last. So, and, and then it's channelized to the, outer environment. So that energy gets first stored in the body. Then it creates the effect to the environment. So that energy is just that helps you to gain that strength and that confidence, that overall development you get. That confidence that yes, this is you can do, you can achieve. You get the power to take the right decision at the right time. That is most important. The people who are successful at today's scenario because of taking the right decision at the right time. So that things you, you will feel that you are able to get that confidence that yes, you, this is the right decision you are taking, this is the 
right time to do this work. So this type of development, I feel that it happens when that energy enters and you will feel a little, little bit heated when the energy is just enter into the body. You feel that yes, you will feel that heat if you are doing properly. And it's three hours a day. Uh, around two to two one f five hours, you can say. Around five hours. Yeah. Not five hours. Is it three. Uh, two hours thirty minutes. Okay. Two to two point five hours. I told. Around two hours thirty minutes. And then you're completely. Yeah. Heated. Yeah, completely heated. And I uh, that that aggression and that e energy is created. That yes, I today I'm going to do. If I plan this, I I, I will able to achieve this. That well, energy, I know I got that extra boost, you can say that, to move that with great force to achieve that vision. And every day I'm doing something that by which that vision is going to, is getting achieved every day. Every day I'm just putting a drop, drop, drop uh, of that to fulfill that vision. Mm -hmm. And when you and, and, and when you uh, could explain that vision what, that you have, what, 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 what is it? The vision you have, where are you in five, ten years? Yeah, in the next five years we are just visualizing to impact 50 million u u u I mean users in the next five years. And to achieve that 50 million users, obviously, and that through our I I through innovations and products. So we are now making the product in such a way that it is going to, Im I mean the millions of people are going to buy this product. They would like to feel that yeah, they are some special by which it will feel, make them feel that royal, that special if they wear this device. So make to make them that feel. So we are just trying to create that soul packaging in such a way that the people will just love to get this product, will feel special if they are getting this product. So we are doing that. So and we are very sure that in the couple of months we will do this and we will just put this product to the market. And then it will just multiply to a like from thousands to lakhs, like to millions, then millions, it will keep on increasing. But yes, in there will be a graph will be like this, like this, up, ups and downs will come, but we'll sure, make sure that if we get some critics and all, we'll keep on doing value to that. And that we are doing through pilot testings. We're doing a lot of pilot testings, a lot of trials, and we are what whatever the critics we are getting, we are just imp improving that. We're improving our features. But we are just precise that there will be few features with a fashionable design and whatever we'll do and we'll put that in front of the public and public will going to appreciate that. You, you were 16, 8 years ago, so you have now an 8 years, well, you, you have 25 people working with you? Yeah. Where did you make your money of the last 8 years? Yeah, see, uh, obviously our products are not yet launched into in market but we have started creating a noise of the product that this is going to be launched in the market. We are doing a lot of pilot testing trials on the people. The money we are getting is through uh, through consultancy business, which is our secondary business. Matlab you can say uh, uh, of our organization, like it's in the name of in things consultancy. So we do something consultancy type of projects for industries, for corporates, for governments, and. Through this, yes, this increase the uh, revenue. It becomes one of the revenue source for the company uh, as of the present. And second, it creates an experience uh, to our team and all to make them hand free on the innovations and technology. They get a diversified knowledge and experience by doing that. And we take such projects which would help us to make our products better. We don't do every kind of consultancy business. We are very focused, if, even if we are doing a consultancy business, we are focused on which kind of innovations uh, we would take from our clients. And we take those projects which would give help us, uh, our team would get experience so that they can do value add in our products. And what kind of consultancy? Consultancy is very general. So yeah, consultancy, we, we are into I, IoT solutions, uh, auto, auto, I mean the automations. In we are precise to these areas, automations, IoT solutions. Although there are projects, there are a lot many things happen, but we are mainly focused to this. If any of the product or innovation that has any other sectors like me mechanics and all, we just outsource it to some other organization or to our collaborated partners or. or mm -hmm. um, and looking at yourself as a person, uh, sixteen years, you were first awarded at seventeen, I think. Uh, at my 16... 16 you were awarded, yeah. yeah. And then 
what kind of awards you got afterwards? To, 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 to so many like we got the Intel award, I got the, I mean, NASA and all the, so many award, it happens all at a certain. Because when you are awarded once, then automatically, obviously, then the, you will get, you will, piece, you will get that boost that to do such, such innovations which you will be awarded next and next. So you get a, at least experience when you get first time awarded. So you learn that, see, obviously to get the first award, you have achieved so many failures. The failure is also achievement. What I feel and fail means first attempt in learning, F I L. So that's also an achievement if you have failed. You, you should fail first to achieve something. So you learn through fail and you also learn by achieving that. So you are particular what not to do and what to do. So and, what, and what is it what you not do and what is what you do? Yes, by combining that, I, when I I just I combine both and I then when I think of any doing an innovation, I applied both both the things that when I'm doing this innovation, what should not I do and what should I do? And by which, by reflecting in this thought, like what to do and what not do, all the inno innovations, what I'm doing, I, I got awards in from various organizations and from national and international organizations, you can say. And when you would sum up briefly what kind of innovations and inventions you did, can you tell me one, s s several things? <laughs> Just yeah, tell me. <laughs> it will be again a long. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, like one is the enabler, you can say, like the bridge sensor of wheelchair, which I just described. One is the low cost, uh, I mean, one kit, one low cost accident proof technology, because in hilly areas, the vehicles generally fall from the mountains because of the, and mostly around night, because the roads are not visible properly and it fell from the mountain. So that, that we just designed a kit that can be implemented in a vehicle by which the vehicle will stop if there is no place to move. If there is a hole, or there is a pit, or there is there, if there is road end, if there is no road on the side of the vehicle will stop, and then it will slightly move back and it will put a brake. And uh, other, can, can you give other? Yeah, examples? yeah, sure. And one is that low cost electricity system. I told that for the for the villages and for the ru rural empowerment, we did that uh, device. I mean the kit which can provide electricity to the villages at a very aff affordable price. Then we did. A driveless kit, which can implement in a vehicle to, I mean, to make it a completely driveless car. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, then we designed um, a, a kit which can be implemented uh, in any of the home. Whenever you will be inside the home, or inside the room, there will be the, el the electrical appliances will be active. Whenever you will leave the room. Electrical system will automatically put off because generally we f f forget to switch up the device and all. So whenever you are in, the li lighting will be there. Whenever you are not there, the lighting will get off at a very low cost, it, at an aff affordable price. Then, uh, then some innovations which is not exactly, uh, y y I mean, useful. Uh, for the public directly, but some innovations like for uh, for educational purpose innovations we do we uh, did some to create these in, these are the innovations which is which is going some some in, we have I developed some innovations which is going to create interest in the youth towards technology towards innovations. It's not a, it don't have a direct benefit, but it has an indirect benefit like to for, for entertainment purpose for a uh, edu educational purpose. Uh, and during my seminars where I am invited as a guest speaker in colleges or in corporates or in schools, I used to display such gadgets. And that creates e interest in the youth towards innovations, towards technology and all. And such innovations are like a drone that would be operated through my hand gestures. Wherever I move my hand, a drone will move. And there is, I designed an Iron Man repulsor, like through my heartbeat. If I increase my heart heartbeat, then the repulsor will get activate and like the hand and the chest triple so will get activate. So these are the some innovations which is I mean create interest in youth because they can connect with their uh, I mean the related superstars. They have this they have seen the superstars in 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 a te television in a movie but they know that that's animated when they see that that thing has been in a real form in the form of innovation. So they think that the innovation is so wonderful so beautiful. So finally, they feel that this innovation, this technology is really interesting. So they are then driven by passion towards technology and innovations accordingly. 
Um, but when I hear these examples, which are very nice, but I also think immediately, oh, but I've seen that there, I've seen it in the US, I've seen it in Europe, I've seen yeah. it. So w what? W why don't they import that in India instead of waiting for your innovations to be made? See, there might be some innovation which is far better than me, but what far better than which I have done. But it's all about to find a test, to find a test in the in the customer, in the uh, or the uh, of your target customer. When you do an innovation, you find who are your target customer, who are target area. I will give an example, and from that example, you will find the answer. I mean, both like I will take the example of Amazon and Flipkart. I mean, they they both are the great company, and Amazon is obviously here, and Flipkart is here, no no doubt, and everyone knows that. But one thing you, you can find in India also, there is a lot of competition. Like there is Amazon, there is. So I mean, in India, Amazon has already entered, no doubt. But there are some in India, there are Flipkart, there is Snapdeal, there are many e-commerce companies. Flipkart was the one who aggressively captured the in Indian market first. And why? Because of the one simplified feature that included. Amazon is far m much better and big than Flipkart. But Flipkart wins in capturing the Indian market because the person, the, the co-founder or the owner of the Flipkart is Indian and he thought that what that innovative feature can be done that can add a taste in, in, in the food so that that can add taste and spice so that people will like to eat that food. And what he did, he just included the COD option, cash and delivery option, which Amazon included now onwards but that time he did the first that included that COD option and people aggressively followed that flip card because in Indians people generally don't trust on e-commerce if they pay fast then they later get the products. In India people feel that hand to hand, give the product, take, take the money. So that one feature that created a he, I mean he captured the completely the Indian market. So the question you asked why they are waiting for my innovation or what the, I am looking into that. I am adding such features which is for whom I am targeting the area or the the customers the I mean my target customers in a particular area to whom I am targeting I am very focused that these are the target customers whom I am focusing Indians. Yes, let's say and like, I am starting from Indians then when I will go to the global level I will add taste accordingly if I am doing if I am looking into e US I will add I will ch do some changes in the features if I look in the Saudi Ar Arab countries I will do some changes in the features. So from different place from like there is a in Hindi there is a statement like Jesa Desh Vesa Ves. Like uh, ha, ha, the new place, new people so you have to act accordingly as per their taste and all. You have to modify. So I mean new place there will be new people. So people will I mean the, I mean in short if I will say one product which will be liked by Indians may not be liked by Britishers or may not be liked by people in US. The product which will be liked by US may not be liked by Indians. So the product you have to keep on changing, keep small minor changes you have to do if you are changing from target customer, you are changing the direction of, the, of your tar target customers. When you are Indian, A, B, C should, should be the feature. When it is US, it should be B, C, D. If it is Britishers, it may be D, E, F. So in that way. So if I am focusing Indians, so Indians are not focusing the other product rather than focusing on this product because I found that this ABC is going to attract them or to create in interest in them. It's as simple as this. And it, so, so the uniqueness is also that you were in the, for example, in this hospital looking at this man trying, needing a wheelchair that he yes. could move himself. himself. But main thing it should be affordable. If they import the wheelchair, that would be cost more than two lakhs or three lakhs or, or a ha half a million. So, at least they know that this wheelchair which I have developed is low cost, is affordable. The I kit, I even I give flexible options. I give flexible options like you don't have to purchase the wheelchair. Even if you don't need a wheelchair, you can get the kit at a price of around uh, fifteen to twenty thousand rupees. You can get get this kit. You can sit on bed and you can operate electrical appliances, you can text messages. If you want a mobility option, we can design a low cost wheelchair for you, a affordable wheelchair for you and a customized wheelchair for you and we can implement a kit in the wheelchair. So that providing their special option to the target customer makes them feel special and they choose you rather than choosing any other. Why they will invest such 
um, I mean, I mean more money if they are getting the special thing at uh, affordable price. So, I know that what exactly is going to uh, attract an Indian customer. And how many um, wheelchair owners or people that are uh, disabled are using your kit? So Currently, there will be more than 20, I, I can say, who will be, but in a pilot, form of pilot testing because this is not a product which we are commercializing at our own brand. So, during the pilot testings and through some tie-up organizations, I mean, they just develop some of the units and we help them in developing those bricks and kits and it is being pilot tested by many of the users, maybe through exhibitions or through hospitals or in this way. But officially, we are not commercializing this innovation. We are just license to a med tech company so that they can commercialize in a better way. Yeah, it's not commercialized yet. Yes. No. And um, when you look around the globe, who are your heroes? Who would you, when you envision somebody that you would like to be? Can you th think of one? Every successful people and every unsuccessful people are my heroes. Mm -hmm. Because from successful people, I learn what to do. And every from every unsuccessful people, I, I learn what not to do. Can you elaborate on that? Like the successful people you can say like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, each one of them like Elon Musk, like these people have massively done that, what, well I learned everything like, like how they achieved their struggle stage and all, I learned that what are the things which they make mistakes and they did the right thing to, uh, to reach that level. From that, from their experience I, I learned that what I should not do and what I should do, so that I can reach that level at early age. If I am, you feel that if I have achieved something at a young age because of that, I try to learn from others' experience. Whatever they have done by which they got a downfall and what they have done to they got a achievement. So like you, if you take the example of Elon Musk, like through PayPal, whatever he has he had earned, like around 150 million dollars he earned by through PayPal, he invested completely into Tesla Motors and uh, SpaceX. We don't know like, why did he even didn't saved a single penny. I mean, he borrowed f in that those days, he was borrowing from his friends and he was staying in a rented house. So I don't know why, what he, why he did, but, but, but I think he was more focused to the vision. Even he don't want to save in his pocket a sing single rupee, if he can invest that to fulfill his vision, he did that. He was completely involved in fulfilling his vision. So for many, it may be wrong, but I feel that whatever he has done is right. And when you put that on yourself, what makes you a visionary for others, do you think? See, I don't know what to say. Every human being think, think that he should have a luxurious life, royal life, he should have a bungalow, he should have a car, he should have a vehicle, luxurious vehicles, he should lead a royal lifestyle. Every human being wants that. But there are some people to achieve that, they, they just focus that, that how we are going to achieve that, how we are going to achieve a big house, how we are going to achieve a, our dream car or how we will have a lot of bank balance, they focus to that. And there are some people like I also want that kind of life, but I am not focusing to that. I know that if I, I should focus to my vision, everything will come, to, everything will put in that uh, in my place. So everything will put in, in the place, I don't need to focus how much my bank balance, how much, whether I have, have my dream ha house or not, whether I have a mansion or not, I, whether I have a dream car or not, I don't need to focus that. I know that this, all these wishes and all these dreams will be fulfilled if I ful fulfill my vision, if I stick to my vision. This everything will get put in my bag. So this all will be put in my list. So I'm just strict to the vision. I know that I, I can achieve that by focusing on the vision. So if I distract from the vision, everything will go, go away. And by, but the real happiness that I'm going to get is when vision is fulfilled. When everyone, if I find anyone and someone say, hi Susan, you just changed my life. Your innovation has really changed my life. So that is real, my achievement. Rather than the achieving of this and this house or dream, that is my dream house or dream car. If I hear a statement that Susan, this innovation has really changed my life. Thank you so much. If I heard, if I hear this small statement from any of my users, I am more than happy. And uh, I understand that, um, but then still, why are you in the eyes of other people a visionary? Because I stick to my vision. I, I every time whatever the activities I do that gives value to the vision, I'm whatever the activities I do, I step 
every day I step one one ladder to re to reach the destination of the vision, and people can always see that if I am doing that, and that will be seen by others, then that's why they feel that I am visionary. Mm -hmm. So you will be the next Elon Musk, probably. Yeah, why not? I would love to. Yeah. So first of all, you wanted to tell something about your big example. Yeah. Just you asked that um, whether I want to be the next Elon Musk. I will say yes, I want to be the next Elon Musk of India, I, I, I can say. Because Elon Musk is a really great serial entrepreneur. And first, I, I want to be myself, I want to be Susan Bhatnai, who is yes, similar to next Ele Elon Musk of India. So obviously with my uniqueness, with my some innovative mind and entrepreneur mind obviously I, if i will able to fulfill that vision if i will able to achieve the vision if i will able to impact millions of life billions of life and obviously to reach that position it, it will be not a big deal and what is your vision yeah just uh, well, i just mentioned before like to empower 50 million users worldwide in the next five years then then obviously to reach billions will be a little bit easier if that vision is achieved in the next five years. What kind of problems you encounter here in India? I suppose it's, it's not all one success story you have. See, if you want to find problems, then you should come to India, I can say. Because there is a lot more, and we take problems as an achievement. If there is a problem, then that's an achievement because there is a lot, lot many things that we can learn, and a lot many things we can explore, and there are a lot many things where we can use our mind to develop something which can solve that encountered problem and that problem um, may be directly or indirectly would be faced by the other p parts of the world as well. So that can create that impact in that areas as well. So anything that is invented in India is not only solving the problems of Indian people, it is also solving the problems of the global people as well. So you, you see Indian problems and try to find solutions for that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And um, on the question whether, uh, what makes what you invent more unique than what already exists in the world? See, I don't focus on how very innovatively I have done any in innovation. It happens, finally, that innovation happens that depends to make it more user friendly. I just look to make it user friendly. I don't look to make it a great innovation. If something that is similar to the existing innovation, if my innovation has some extra one features, I would like to market that innovation. I would li like to push that innovation to the market, whether individually, whether through my organization company, whether through third party organization, or whether it's in a collaboration with other organizations or companies. So if that, by evaluating that one feature in the innovation, if it is crea really creating a impact, then I would like to push that. If it, it's more to make it user friendly rather than making it a great complicated innovation. So, so it happens when I'm focusing to make it a user friendly, it becomes a innovation. Mm -hmm. I, for this series, we filmed in the most modern labs you can imagine, like the, 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 the unique uh, yesterday in the Fab Lab. I have to admit it was not the most modern and uh, how, how is it that from that, do, that, that fab lab there will come the newest innovations? Yeah, that's we have created a creators and makerspace type of place where other make we just yeah, allow other makers to the people the, the like the makers the innovators who don't have such privilege of accessing such lab. We just provide we just give privilege and uh, access to that lab. I mean they can access the lab, their equipments and they can do something, they can transform their ideas to prototypes and products. Like yesterday you filmed that and you saw that how there are some different makers also who are doing some di di different things. So we just try to create that ecosystem where the other makers and other innovators will come and like an open innovation model, like an open workspace. So people can do and create something, whether they will do destroy, they will do uh, ultra sense, but finally they will do something that is going to create an impact. So that's a place, if such place will be pro provided at a young age, at a earlier age, then they will can create impact at such, when they will come to at, at least in their 30s or 40s. So if they will st keep struggling till 30s or 40s, then obviously if they will, they, they will utilize their time and effort in creating that space, then they will start working, then it will take consume a lot of time. Their efficiency will decrease. So in, now they, these guys, 
do not need to give effort to I mean to create a workspace which we have already created. So, there is a need to execute their ideas into products and push to the market. We also help provide that ecosystem that manufacturing ecosystem that uh, channelizing ecosystem that getting tie ups or collaboration ecosystems by which that can innovations can get in the market at earliest as possible. So, it is like a bit the, the television uh, experience you had with so, it, 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 it is good to, to have a bit of a clumsy kind of lab because then you can discover an event. Is that, is that how, how And do obviously, it? when there will be more and more, like we, if we provide space to other makers and innovators, we welcome other make makers and innovators to work at un, un, under one umbrella. Now, obviously, that is an ecosystem where we can discuss each other, we can create, we can create critics each other, and finally, a best result will come out of that. Mm -hmm. Only you think to develop, and a team will think to develop. So obviously the team is going to create an impact. Yeah. It's, it's like you create the place where you can invent, you can research the television. Yeah. Yes. Something like that, yeah. When you, when I hear you, you... That's a good Did you have your vest open or no, closed? No, closed, closed. Oh, so this, yeah. this closed, closed. So it was op open. It was open, yeah? Open, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. I should open it? Yeah, please, yeah. as it was. Yeah, you need to no, we don't have to do it again, but I mean, it's, it's just uh, yeah, it's from, from now on, it's okay. okay it's okay. No, no, keep it open. Keep it open. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I didn't no, know. No, that's, okay, that's, that's, that's our responsibility. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, when you talk, you talk like a person with a lot of experience, but you're only 24 years old. But I, I have seven years experience in the field of innovations and entrepreneurship, you can say. Although, I, although Officially, I, I, we have incorpor incorporated our company uh, in things, our startup, I can say, our, our startup in things, innovators and thinkers in things, and our slogan is empowering future. So, we have recently incorporated last year, but before officially incorporating, we started the journey. And through that journey, we have like a lot of struggles and all ups, downs, so that gives us a experience and by exposing to the uh, global network, so that creates a lot of ex experience to us. And yes, but still we are learners. Whether well, when, when, if uh, whenever we we'll reach to the expertise stage, then also we are will uh, keep the learning attitude wherever possible. From our top leaders to the failures to even to from the child. If I am able to learn something from the child, I will be more more than happy. I will be more privileged if I am getting a chance to learn. If I am interacting with kids, they are learning from me, and I am also learning from them. So, that learning attitude we keep and that is why I think we are progressing in the right direction. And were you focused on yourself, so not in the we form, but in the I form? What did you learn personally from the last, as you are from still quite young, when, when you started with 16 with your first invention, what, what did you, uh, what, what makes you so successful? See, I just follow my passion. First thing my passion is towards this technology, you know, so I am just following my passion and I am transforming my passion to a profession. And that's if, and I feel if a person is transforming his passion to a profession, then they are the successful people because they are following their heart. Money comes al along the way if through the journey. So that is uh, never a matter of issue because you might be doing something which you are earning millions, but if you are doing follow, do, you are following your passion, but you are earning less. But this person who is following the passion and earning less is a successful person because he is happier. This person always one thing will be hunting him th throughout the day, every night through throughout the day come completely. At least every night the person will be hunting. I mean, he will be feeling hunting when while he is sleeping, like in his dreams maybe. So he has not achieved or no, he has not go to the that direction where he was interested or he didn't follow his passion. He might he want might he might want to be a good writer, but he was doing some a nine to five job. Or he got a better job in any MNC. He is earning like millions a every month, but he will regret, regret. That regret will keep on hunting every night that he didn't follow his passion. So it's better that to get to feel regret. It's you follow your passion and follow your heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what you are doing now. Yes. So I'm that's why in that way I feel that I'm successful. Let rest things like how whether how much you have created an impact or how much turnover you have done, how much. Uh, money you you are born, that that will be just a part of the life, and that that is going to happen time to time. So I we, we should not focus more to that. We should fo focus. I do following your passion, 
and through a passion how you are creating the impact. These two things matters. Mm -hmm. And um, can you give me uh, what's for you? Um, let me say, uh, what's for you the magic word? I mean, what can you, can you give me a word that you think, wow, this this drives me? See, always keep expectation from yourself. That that's what I learned. That whether whether you are in a team or even in a personal life or a professional life, try to limit your expectations. But uh, expectation should be effectiveness. And if you are keeping expectation, keep on yourself. Whether either you will achieve it or you will, but there is more chance that you will achieve it because you are going to do that. There is a difference. I, I, I will ask my hand. I, I will think that I should, if there is a water bottle, I will ask my hand that get that water bottle to me. So uh, I will go, I will get, I will get the water bottle and I will come. Now there is a if I expect that, I will ask you that you go and get that water bottle for me. There are two options that whether you will get it or you will say no. So there is option for no if I ask you get that water bottle for me. But if I ask myself, Susan, go and get that water bottle for me. So there are chances more, there is more surety that I can get that water bottle. So if you keep expectation on yourself, then you are able to achieve. If you are not able to expect yourself, then how you can think that or how you will channelize your team to fulfill that vision. So that's the so on whom we are expecting is, is a matter of concern. We are, uh, this series, uh, every episode has an archetype, an archetype, and you are in the archetype, the maker. Yeah. Can you, can you, are you, do you agree with that? Yeah, I'm a maker first, because ma a maker is also an innovator, a maker is also a creator, so a maker has a free body, is free to do whatever he wants. He tried to hack and all, but finally, the result matters when you are an entrepreneur. You are creating an impact. A maker tries to hack any, anything, destroy anything, create anything without focusing that whether it is going to create impact or not. He just tried to create a wow effect out of the innovation, which I think when you did the shooting in the Fab Lab, you see that how differently we have done some innovations and all haphazardly. Just to kind of jugad, you can say. We try to solve a particular problem in that prospective time, but we did, didn't focus on how that things is going to create an impact. But finally, you have to turn into an entrepreneur if you want to make the reach your innovations to the, to, to the, I mean to the global people. So I am a maker at first, no, no doubt, but finally the output, I am an entrepreneur to create that impact. By being a maker, I will not be able to create an impact. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Wat is nou het grote verschil tussen het ontwikkelen, voor de, uh, het ontwikkelen van producten voor de Indiaanse markt oh ja. ten opzichte van uh, bijvoorbeeld de Amerikaanse? Ja. Yeah. Could you um, ex what is the difference in um, innovating for the Indian market comparing it to other markets worldwide or the US market for example? What's the difference between the innovations? What 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 is the difference for uh, yeah uh, uh, in innovating for the Indian market? Comparing it to other markets, what's what makes the Indian market so Different. difficult or special? See, it's all about the mindset. The see the innovation which would attract that the audience that yes, I should get the product. You have to make them that feel that I should get the product. See, everyone to if they want something if in the area if they need a water bottle, this they have some such criteria. Like they should get more quantity, better quality. They should get at an affordable price. So. Indian has a mindset that they keep some criteria if they uh, get attracted to uh, any of the product. And most important, apart from these three, most important is that if anyone is, anyone is ref ref referring, is gi giving the testimony of that product. If any of his friends says, Are you know that this XYZ water bottle is very awesome, it tastes better, then that Indian is going to get that product which his friend referred. So that reference, that mouth pub publicity matters first. And then they get into the other qualities. I'm talking of the majority, not every, but uh, of the majority. So your product should be in a such a level that it, it should get into a, my, mm, it should create a noise. It should get into the people's mouth publicity. It should f make them feel that special so that they can do so off. In Indians, if I talk about the iPads, very 
very less people know to they, they actually required iPads. But many people they purchase iPads just to do show off that we can afford iPad. And I, so, sometimes I feel that Apple makes such products to to give a message that you don't have your own value. Get a get our product that increases your value. Sometimes, although I, I, I may, may be wrong, but I feel that in it and, and, and that impact happens more in Indians. There are people who don't know even need to use iPhone properly. They just know how to call. They don't know to use apps and anything. But they get iPhone just to do so. They feel that their value increased by getting such products. I feel that yes, the product it's a great product. But if you really require, if you really need it, then take it. If you are utilizing all the features and what is there, otherwise get a simple phone if you just want to make a call. And when you make when you personalize that, so uh, what is going to make you successful at the Indian market instead of other companies that come from abroad? See, obviously, being an Indian, I I, I know the I understand the mentality of the Indians. I know what they exactly wants and what I should include in a product so that they will be easily fascinated or they will be easily attracted towards the product that would make them feel special. So everything I am putting into the consideration. So like if people coming from abroad will think to make a product and to put in the market, they will not understand the exactly Indian mindset. Like you can see just recently, if I take the example of Apple, they just decreased the price of the Apple and it's the 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 volume the I mean the volume sales increased drastically. So there might be some Indian in uh, in the Apple or in the Apple India or whatever you say. All of those who are connected, any Indian who would be working in Apple might have suggested that if you do these changes, then it, it was going to drastically increase the number of sales in India. So if you want to increase in increase the number, India is a India it is a great market. Like it's more than one billion uh, population. I I know I I hope you know in India. So to there are, there is more scope. If if, if the, I mean the Indian population is more than one billion, so there is more scope that you can enter. You can uh, sell your products in the Indian market. So if you follow some parameters, and that Indian can think. The main thing is that see obviously if you are from Netherlands, then um, you know better that what product uh, has to be done, then that is going to matlab, um, attract the Netherlands audience or the Netherlands people. I cannot go and I cannot uh, get a well, so showcase a product which would attract them. If you if there will be a comparison that you show a product and I show a product, your product is going to sell. But the reverse will be in India. If I make a product, which your product may be 100 times better than my product. But I will be including something in that product that my product is going to sell, sell because I will be knowing that what would be attracting the Indian mindset. Can you ask me if uh, like for example apart from the low cost, if, if there is any other parameters? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, you, you ask a question. Yeah. Are there other, other, other parts of the low cost? Are there I told you, the main parameter is that it, sh it should be such a way that it should create a mouth publicity then low cost won't matter. Like for to get an iPhone or to get a Samsung Galaxy type phone, it's a much more costlier than a pocket money that uh, Indian students get. Um, I mean, they somehow get it at anyhow. Matlab like they they b b b borrow from friends, they add all their pocket monies and all, but they get an iPhone or the Sam Samsung Galaxy phone uh, because that has created a noise. And that, uh, matlab, that has created a royalty, uh, a, a royal feel uh, to an individual. If among a friends community, if you are using an iPhone or a Samsung, you will get a special treatment. People are, wow, you have, you have iPhone, wow, you have a Samsung phone, Samsung Galaxy. So people appreciate. So that created, and there will be some kids or some students will be jealous that you people have that, that this friend has an iPhone and why I don't have it. So that jealousy that to feel that royalness people e uh, buy the product and that that is more that's the first thing by which people get purchase that product the people who really required uh, are coming in, into the secondary or the third market size the first market size that that creates a je je that creates a jealousy if if your product 
if someone is feeling really special and the others are appreciating and they are feeling jealous that this person has that product by which it, it is creating a wow effect. Everyone is appreciating, wow, you have this product. So that jealousy will make others to get that product. At the end, who wins? At the end, the company who will be manufacturing that product wins. 